going to African parties and I was always in the middle, you know, doing my COSA. Then all of a sudden she started doing my COSA. I'm like, girl, when you start doing this dance? Some ladies, the minute they start seeing their period, they start taking folic acid and omega oil. Your friend will never ever copy, like want to be exactly like you. Oh my goodness, this is so crazy. <laughs> okay, if the thought of a room filled with familiar faces from your high school or secondary school fills you with fear and anxiety, then you're definitely tuned in to the right episode of Girls Uncut. All right, today we are sharing tips on how to survive your high school reunion, and we're also reminiscing about our school days, as you can see from our intro. Hi, school girls. Are you guys looking like the head girl? <laughs> Shout out to my friends from Queens College. Hey. Hey. And Beverly is looking like a cheerleader. A from cheerleader. High school. She looks like the you know I the was queen the mascot, of the, the it girl. You know, the Actually, it girl. I wasn't. I was the loser. I was the no, mascot. Really? I was wearing the lion suit. Really? Because I didn't make the cheerleading team. <laughs> what happened? No, I tried out for the mascot and I was a lion. Really? And so I used to get into the costume and I would dance and yeah. Do you have pictures of that? I sure do, but you can't see my face because I'm in the costume. Oh, okay, we'll definitely you know? put that for people to watch. I wasn't the head girl. If anything, I was in the back. You know. Okay. Personally, I wasn't the head girl. I wasn't even a perfect, but I was the president of the literary, literary and debating dramatic club i don't know which i doing drama then. <laughs> and i was queen of drama because i loved acting i loved dancing there was no social night that i would climb the stage like 10 times i was just like you know i have to show my dancing steps i'm sure beverly's looking at me like this one that i cannot even shake her booty Girl, back in the days i used to okay. shake and dance but now i can't I do all your dancing beverly yes, girl <laughs> i saw you get it down <laughs> Why she like to pretend? It's always the one that pretend like they're good and they're really bad. Get out. <laughs> girl, please. Well, I, I used to be bad in school. Mm. We were the it girls. We were actually the mm. cool girls. But I was cool. Like, I was real in a way. Back in those days, we couldn't take our spoons or cutlery and all those things to dine because it wasn't cool. The norm was that seniors would always give their juniors their plates to carry to the dining room. I mean, well, everybody is dying of hunger in school. <laughs> I went to Nigerian Navy. Shout out to Nigerian Navy Yay! students. I actually went to Nigerian Navy, Port Harcourt, very okay. Port Harcourt, and it was war. You can imagine. Mm. It was paramilitary. So they gave us the military type of training. So you can imagine wow. that we're actually hungry half of the time. Oh, wow. But as students or as, you know, seniors, you're not... It's not expected that you carry your cutlery to dine. Dine at the dining. You just send juniors. But when I became a senior, I was like, no, everybody has to. I love food. I don't want to be looking for one junior <laughs> <laughs> in the dining. I can't find my spoon. I can't find my plate. I started carrying my cutlery and my spoon. And the next day, everybody was carrying cutlery and spoon in school. So you made like, it look cool, girl. Like, cool girl. Yes. You made it look well for me. When I was in secondary school, I used to act, I used to dance, I and I won the award for funniest girl. I was very funny. I used to crack dry really? jokes. Like, I would just say the silliest things, and everybody would just start laughing. I will just make a, a silly face. I'd be like, Ugh! and then everybody would laugh. I wonder why they even used to laugh, because I felt <laughs> I was so, funny. I felt I was dry then. Like, I will just yeah, say the silliest so things, funny. and they're like, ah! and I'm like, okay, I haven't even said anything. But concerning food, in my secondary school, Queen's College, we, we, the school provided plates and cutlery okay. for us. No, just plates. We, we had to bring in our own cutlery. And the funniest thing was we always used to swap food. Mm. So today I would tell you, I'll say, Beverly, tomorrow can I have your piece of meat? I'll give you half of my rice. Did you guys used to yes, do things like that? used to do that. And it was so much fun. And then you yeah. have people yeah. owing people <laughs> meat. And then they'll be running away because they're like, ah, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm supposed to give Arike my meat today, so I'm not going to see her. So once they get their food, the first thing they do, they just grab the piece of meat and throw it in their mouth, and they're like, oh, mm. they're like, give me the meat. 
took my rice yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it was just it was just funny. But shout mm -hmm. out to people in boarding school now. I wonder mm -hmm. how it is now. I don't think it's oh, the no, same. It's yeah, as, you know, back nah, nah. back then, because then it was difficult. tough. Like seniors would send you to fetch buckets of water mm -hmm. when you haven't no. even yeah when you haven't even fetched for yourself. You know, was it this, was just uh, there was this time. When I just went into school, I was a transfer student actually to Nigeria Navy in my okay. second year. Hey. When, when, <laughs> where were you? Where were you? I was in Itologa Secondary School okay. in Lagos. I repeated a class because I couldn't cope. They sent hmm. me to the senior dormitory and school was crazy. Me, imagine me, like I was skinny at Jabota, nice girl. I just went to this Navy school. Everybody was, they will fap, you may to fap your, your, your body parts. They will fap your bucket, your pinafore, hmm. your, like, they would steal everything mm. from your provision. Nothing was safe. So I just went in and they threw me into the senior dormitory with all the lions, all the Cruella devils, oh, wow. all the seniors. I was like the house girl mm. of that dorm. Mm. And I misplaced their yeah, buckets. I misplaced <laughs> So after prep, once you just told me, you just got to lie on that right bed. So after prep, I was finishing prep at 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock. After prep, I was just going to lie under the bed as oh, punishment. Goodness. I couldn't find her skirts. I couldn't find her bucket because and they kept giving me things to iron mm. and all that and my my school uniform was always rumpled back then because mm. I didn't understand why we had to you know mm. iron and all those things but it was crazy it was horrible then I failed it was oh. terrible oh. I had to repeat the class and afterwards I can't you know, relate to this girl. It's it's cool. <laughs> I can relate yeah. to this. I've never been to a boarding school ever, you mm. know. So I know that I used to pray so hard because my dad used to threaten me that you, you must go to Nigeria. You must go to boarding school. I was very troublesome kind of child yeah, back then. My, my sisters went to boarding <laughs> school, but I used to always pray because I was the one to always get threatened. But I don't think I could make it there. I think they would really deal with me in boarding school <laughs> if I went they there. They would have punished you. I, I, mean, you I don't think I could, oh. could last they would have at all. Mm -hmm. You couldn't and, have survived. Yeah, and also you're talking about ironing. In QC back then, we had, like, we had days where you could take your clothes for ironing, but then for the times when you didn't iron, what we did was we would fold our school uniforms and put it under our mattress. Did you guys used yes. to do that? So you, yes. you, you fold your shirts or whatever it is you're wearing, your pinafore, and then you put it under your mattress yeah. so that you sleep on it. And then when you wake up in the morning, it's a little bit straightened. Ah, and then there was this thing that cool. students used to do then. They'll tell you to go and look for the golden book. Did they ever do that to you? No. So then they, they'll just call a junior girl and say, you, now so come, go and look for, go to... Then you're room okay. and get the golden book. Mm. Ah. And then you go there, you'll be like, oh, Senior so said I should bring the golden book. And then when, when you get there, you are going to say, no, 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 go to Ari, go to Funke's room. Go and get the golden book. So they're going to send you around the whole school. Wow. I mean, you know, you find, at the end of the day, you found out there was never a golden book. Wow. That's crazy. crazy stuff. But I made the most amazing friends in secondary school. Shout out to people who went to boarding house. Oh, my God. It's, so, it's, it's, it's a bond that lasts a lifetime. We're gonna have more for you guys, but for now we have to go on a quick break. We would be right back. Girls Uncut is gonna be back in a second. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Girls Uncut underscore, and you can use the hashtag Girls Uncut. Let us know what your secondary school experiences were. We might just learn from you. See you guys in a bit. Welcome back, people. You're still on to Girls Uncut, and as usual, I'm hanging with my ladies. Hi, hey, girl. Hey, girl. We've been reminiscing about our school memories, favorite memories, craziest times back in high school, secondary school, whatever you would call it. I'm representing Nigerian Navy Secondary School, although I'm not wearing my white, but hey. <laughs> I'm representing Queens College. Shout out to my QCOGs. I'm repping in blue. Yeah. So all my American babes, I'm representing Houston, Texas. I went to A. Leaf Taylor High School and I was the lion, the mascot of the school. <laughs> Can y'all see me in a mascot? Oh <laughs> Just dancing. It'd be so hot in there too. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Hey. <laughs> yes, we had our 10 year high school reunion, but I missed it because I went to go see somebody, which I regret. Oh. <laughs> I mean, like, I was planning, I said that I will not go to my high school reunion unless I was famous. Because okay. I made a goal to myself when I was in high school. Yeah. So I actually was, I mean, I mean, I have a little name, but it's not like, whoa. But I felt like I was ready enough to go and stand before my classmates. But then somebody called me, and I was like, dang, what should I do? But I decided to fly, which I 
I kind of regret that I missed my high school reunion for somebody. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. maybe we'll have one. a 20 years. I don't know if, if we will ever have a 20 years anniversary, but okay. shout okay. out to all my people that I went to school with. You okay. Know. All right. I want to cry. Don't 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 cry. Sometimes, man, sometimes just follow your heart. Jeez. Okay. You know, you just brought up a very important point. There are actually like three categories of people when it comes to high school reunion. Hmm. There are those who would never attend. Like yeah. They would never yeah. be caught dead going for a high school reunion. Mm -hmm. And there are those who would always attend. They would never miss it. They're chief organizers, <laughs> planning committee. <laughs> they're always, always there. So and true. then there are those who are in between like you. I think you were a little in between. I was. That's yeah. why I didn't really just end up going. But I really wish I did because I saw all the pictures on Facebook. I saw how fat all the skinny, beautiful <laughs> cheerleaders were. I'm like, dang, they got so fat. You know, a lot of the cute girls that were the yeah. it girls are now fat. You know, a lot of us have actually kids. blossomed into, you know, butterflies. A lot of us who used to be very ugly and funny mm -hmm. looking, especially in my school, we had to go on low cost, literally mm. looking like boys. And then when we meet up and we see ourselves, we're like, oh, you're so Ooh, fun. La -la. You're so fresh. You're so mm -hmm. girly. Like, I was a little bit of a tomboy back then. I, used to I could see that. Trip I, could see that. <laughs> I could fall for Africa. I have a lot of scars, you know, because we had to always run. And mm. all the, like, the punishments were just wicked. So there was this so one cool. where you have to pin your head, like your head is on the ground, on the sun in the parade what? ground. And you're behind is suspended. Your ass is suspended in the air. Huh? And your legs are supporting. So you're like this. Whoa. That, that is small. child oh, whoa. abuse. It was oh, whoa. crazy. Whoa. It was crazy. Nah. Yeah. Did you guys have to do that too? <laughs> no, no. no like, the one crazy. that was really tough that, that mm -hmm. people used to do was they'll tell you to drop. So dropping means you're standing and you have to drop on your knees. So you can't show so you just us. Have to go boom. Yes. So you can't show and sometimes us. Sometimes the seniors will say, I didn't hear the sound. I have to hear the you're sound. Kidding. Yeah. How? So when they say drop, like you, you're standing and you just have to drop, like go down on your knees. With a, with a, with a loud sound, yes, a, a really loud one. Well, you were talking about 20 years reunion, yeah. saying that if you guys have you, you'll probably go. We are organizing one, my set, okay. mm -hmm. and we met up about two years ago, people people in my set. Shout out to 98 set QCOG, mm -hmm. and you know, we met up about two years ago, and it was quite awkward, because I saw people I hadn't seen since secondary school. But thank God I was in touch with some of them. So, you know, it didn't feel too awkward. Mm -hmm. But for the people who I hadn't seen in a while, you know, it was like, hey, 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 hi, 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 hi. You know, but we're having the 20th year one, which I believe is going to be very interesting. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, you know, when you're going for reunions, one thing I would say is, Show up and show out. Yes. So I plan right. to show up and show, show out. out. And you know, while planning this reunion, we set up a QC um, old girls WhatsApp group. Okay. And initially, you know, we were all ginger. And everybody was talking, okay, so where are we going to use? Are we going to do it in Nigeria? Are we going to fly out? Blah, blah, blah. But then now it's changed. Like the things that people... <laughs> Why? Yeah, it's, you know how people initially are ginger about yeah. something. Mm -hmm. And then later on, they start to talk about other things. So sometimes somebody can come and say, oh, please, what, what school would you recommend for me to send my child to? Uh, and then like, others will now start like talking, which, which, I, which I find very <laughs> offensive because, okay. you know, the people there who don't have kids, they're oh. people who are trying to conceive. Oh, okay. So I yeah, think people yeah. shouldn't bring things like that. So as soon as I started saying that, I was like, mm, mm, mm. I know people who have muted their, okay. their, yeah, their, their sets, like the school reunion groups, mm -hmm. people put it on me but I will never do that to my people I'm so looking forward to the reunion because I plan to go up show up and show out I know and that's I right that, that brings mm -hmm. us to the most scary part of reunions the fact that it seems like a lot of people will start comparing themselves you know to one another like you did mention someone would feel offended because she doesn't have kids yes and yeah. people are asking questions like where do I send my kids mm -hmm. to so how do people deal with situations like that when you're going for a reunion and you don't feel like you're as successful as you want to be like you have always had like high targets for yourself you say for instance you wanted to be a billionaire mm -hmm. when you were 30 and now you're 30 and you don't even have a thousand naira in your account mm -hmm. so you know how do you go for school reunions without feeling you know fake it till you make it <laughs> fake it people don't really know unless yeah. you really just you know advertising your life you better come mm -hmm. in there rent a car Go to get an Uber, <laughs> try to look for the best Uber, say this is a Toyota past that, get a, the best looking car, you know. You can get a nice outfit, you know. Fake it, okay? They don't need to know what's really going on when you go home. There's no lights. Oh. You're in the boys' quarters. It's okay. Mm. 
<laughs> it's okay. Hey. We're men. <laughs> hey. I like that. Yes. Put it here. Fake it till you make it, fake girl. It. I mean, fake hey. it. And then when you yeah. go there, you know, walk with your head high. Hey. Who cares? Okay? Look, I don't got no kids yet. I'm not married, but I'm happy. And I'm looking yeah. good. I'm mm -hmm. in shape. I may not be in shape, but I'll put something on where you think I'm in shape. <laughs> you know, just fake it till you make it, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. That's my advice. That's right. who, who cares? Mm -hmm. For me, I'll say just be confident. Like, mm -hmm. whatever it is that you're doing, do not pretend. I wouldn't say fake it till you make it, but go there and look good. Yeah. Even if you're not making so much money, it doesn't yeah. mean you can't buy a good dress. You know, exactly. Nice. Go there, be yourself. Don't try, don't try to be anybody else. Do not compare yourself to other people because, yeah. you know, people who are single will tend to say, oh, I'm not yet married, and then they start to lose confidence. No, just yeah. be confident. Go yeah. there. And um, I would also say avoid pettiness. Because some people are very petty. Oh, yeah. They bring, they remember yeah. the things that, the silly mm. things you did in secondary yeah. school, and then they begin to say it. For example, if someone used to pee on the okay. bed, and then you see the person with their <laughs> husband, you know, looking up like, you know, people I'm that person. Oh, yeah. 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 I will remind you. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you have to remember that, you know, people are hey. so grown. Yeah. You should have wow. mm -hmm. And then, I you know, you, you had grudges with people mm. back then. Don't bring it to the reunion. Don't yeah. even, like, how would you even carry a grudge for over 10 energy. years or 20 because years? Because maybe they were so hurt. You know, people can really bully. <laughs> no, no. Oh my you know, so people go. still you have it inside of, of them. Of, you need to let go. That's, 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 if that's you have that inside you, let go. Let it go. Okay. Let it go. Like, let go of all the hurt. <laughs> Exactly. You're a bigger person now. You're yeah. doing well now. If you're faking it till you Even make it, girl. Well. If you're faking it till you make it, you look like you're making it. So you don't exactly. you don't need to carry things like that with yes. you. Mm -hmm. You need to go with a forgiving heart. Yes. You know, yes. And a beautiful eyes. So you right. don't see those things that happen to you because mm -hmm. Some in one way or the other, they shaped you. Mm -hmm. Your experiences shaped you. Definitely. No matter how you know this pleasurable they may have been when it happened. So when you're going for your reunion, forgive, especially those seniors who were wicked to you, who made you drop, like <laughs> <laughs> I said. And you know that lady who made me pin my head and all that crazy stuff. Whenever you're going for a reunion, I think that you should also go with a friend if you feel. Oh yeah, you that's know, that's a good idea. Yeah, Great if idea. You feel awkward yes. because you're going, and then these people are almost like strangers, but mm -hmm. you've always mm -hmm. known each other. Yes. And you don't want to be isolated or feel alone, especially mm -hmm. if you can't recall, like I'm that kind of person where I remember your face, but I may not remember your name. Yeah. So just to avoid that awkward conversation, mm -hmm. you know, I just go with a friend and then you start to tell the person to help me ask your name <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on the side so you're yeah. not offended. But mm. yeah, 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 yeah. And then also play, you should friend. also play it cool. Don't be too mm -hmm. jumpy because sometimes you're like, hey, and then the person is going to be like, hello. Exactly. I can't remember you. Mm. Have we met? Mm -hmm. You look familiar. Do I know you? Oh, you added. <laughs> oh, you added a little bit. Oh, you added. Yeah. You know that. Mm. Mm. that one. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you added. No. You know, so you mm. added. Ah, no, so you're not tall yeah. again. I used to be tall as well. Oh, no, they say, oh, yeah, no more fine. You used to be so fine. What happened to yeah. you? Ah, why hey. why should be your face? Hey. People, so should do, people should respect other people's feelings and, you know, mm. understand that people have grown. This is not secondary school. This is real life. Mature. So what about if you're single? Do you just take one of your guy friends that is really hot and tell him, please, let's just say that we're together yeah. for tonight? Mm. Is that okay? I was like, I was like oh, rest Is that okay? <laughs> I mean, would you guys do that if you're single? Because um, I think, I think I would. <laughs> would it would always be good to carry some Yes, yeah, exactly. For real. Take it to make so, yeah. it. Go with the hottest guy ever. Yes, to put like, I'm really hey. going with a friend. With I would rather go with a really hot yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Go with, go with the hottest male friend you have. Yeah. That when you walk in, even the married ones will be like, ah, Beverly, Beverly, oh, Beverly, oh. Beverly oh. Anyway, more of that. When we come back, we have to go on a quick break. We would be right back. Don't forget to follow the conversation at Girls Uncut underscore on Twitter and Instagram. You can also use the hashtag Girls Uncut. See you guys in a second. It's still Girls Uncut. <laughs> and you guys, you know, we love to always read your questions that you guys send in to us. Make sure you guys continue to send us the questions at girls uncut underscore Twitter and Instagram. So, of course, we have a question from our lovely viewer, and her name is Amina. And she says, I live in Abuja where I school at University of Abuja. I'm crushing on a boy in my class, and I don't know how to tell him I love him. Well, hey, I'm like, girl, you love him? Love Not even him. like, hey. first of all, you, know, you know, are you crushing or oh, you're loving love him? Hey. 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 
So what should she do? Because she loves the guy. Not even like, but it's just jumped into. Don't tell him. Yeah. Let Amina. Him, Amina, let him see you. Hmm. Oh, when I, I like say that. let him see like you, is, yes. Let him see, let him see you. you. Girl, look good. <laughs> Be nice to him. Mm -hmm. But never ever tell him that you like him. Don't. Don't. Okay, I like I, that. Okay. You know, for me, I think it cheapens you. Although mm -hmm. some people believe that, you know, if you like mm -hmm. a guy, you can walk up to him and tell him. Women have proposed to men and, you know, to them it's worked out. But for me, let him woo you. Let him see you. Yeah. Let him see that there's this flower called Amina in school. And, you know, before you know it, you never know if it was meant to be, it will be. But crushing and loving are two different things, girl. Are you crushing on him? You can't even be loving him because you don't even know him yet. Yeah. But some so, people really feel like, ah, I love this person. Oh, like Some people really feel, like feel like it's, it's beyond, him. but like, but, but, it's love. You know, there are times when you're crushing you might be on someone. Infatuated. There are times when you're crushing on yeah. someone and because then the guy you, just speaks. And, you're like, and oh, you're like, oh, hey. Yeah. It was so angelic. Nah. Because when you're crushing on someone, it's from afar, right? And then, you know, when you love someone, you actually know, know this the person, person and you still love this person as mm -hmm. much as you did when you didn't even know the person. Hmm. So I think she needs to tell the difference. Is From she in love or, you know, is she infatuated or, you know, is it just a crush? Mm -hmm. Can you just picture Mina in class like, hey, that guy is fine. Mm -hmm. And she can not even pay attention to, <laughs> to the lectures. <laughs> the way he's writing his viral. <laughs> hey, you're writing in cursive. You know, those are the crazy yeah. words. Yeah. Did you, you do she flames? Loves. Flames where you would yeah the write game the person's name F -L -A -M, and then you, yes. yeah mm. cancel the O cancels this and then you know no. M is for marriage F is oh, okay for okay we can just do like that R, yeah L is for lovers mm -hmm. and all that stuff I did it a lot Aww. like I'll just meet a guy and then so, I'll yeah, flames for immediately <laughs> it was for marriage yeah yeah, yeah. For, it was for enemies or something yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it was for enemies and S is for sex or I can't remember but, but, but it's like S and flames. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. So friends, lovers, um, what's A? Ad a. Secret admirer. I think yeah, admirers. Admirer. Okay. You know, M marriage. E enemies. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I I you need to do here. some flames <laughs> and find out if you know you guys are made for each other. <laughs> you need to cancel his name. What's his name? Let's know his name. You know, put your name on top. Put his name underneath and do some flames. <laughs> I oh, just pray about it. <laughs> That's my piece get of to, advice. Get to know him. Does she even know him? What about he doesn't want to talk to her? She's like, I no. just get hi. No, Arika said, let her see. Let him see okay, you, girl. He will her. see you. <laughs> let him see you. Yeah. See her, but see, like, how see? See, like, see. Like, see. see. Uh, uh, like you Which know, kind of see? Not the kind of scene that I'm thinking about. Please. No, we need to let like, these girls good. know no. exactly what you mean by that. Look, no, no, no. Look, like, what it means is. be nice to Position yourself. Okay. Position yourself to be noticed. Position yourself in a way that he would, you know, be drawn mm -hmm. to you. He would if notice you. If, if you, you don't see him copying his notes during classes, offer to I'll help. Like, okay, I like that. Nice. I like that. Position thing. yourself. Oh, mm -hmm. did you miss the classes? Do you want? You know? Do you want my notes? Okay. Uh, but never mm -hmm. ask him out. Yeah. I won't do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey. Never ask him out. Amina, do you hear what we have to say? Mm -hmm. I hope this will help you. Let us know if it works. We would love to share with everybody. We will, guys. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Time to go social. Who's ready to go social? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go social, girls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I bumped into this picture on the internet, and um, it has. It looks like Kevin Hart. Yeah, I think it's him. And then the Mimi has this written on it. The face you make when you see somebody spending money and they owe you money. Hey. Oh, oh my goodness. Let me be like Beverly. Ow! Ow. <laughs> Girl, me. You better give me back my money. <laughs> you know, this thing happens a lot. Someone is owing you money and the person is bawling yeah. on social media and in real life. Yeah. Like, you go for a party and then you see the person even spraying money and you're like, eh, hey, hi. where is my money? Hey. But what do you do? Like, It's crazy. Because like, you can't embarrass the person. I wouldn't do that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I like, generally, do I don't even like to, like, if I'm going to borrow you money, mm -hmm. it has to be money that I can part with. Mm -hmm. or yeah. It has to be yeah. an amount that I can part with. So I don't think I've ever been stuck in that situation. I could Cause I really a lot of don't money. Even, yes. And I, I just normally let it go. But it's very annoying. Like, yeah. if I saw someone spend, I'll be like, but I'll tell you, 
But I thought you didn't have money to give me. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I thought you didn't have money. Then where did you get this money from? Like, like you oh, saw no, the person's brain. You yeah. Would, you would walk up to the person. No. Just come and snatch the money out. I was my walk own. up to the person and tell you. I thought you didn't have money yesterday. Please. I need my money. But the thing is, people mm. always have stories when it comes to money. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and people fight. Or the other. People fight. Some people will even yeah. say, oh, hey, on top of how much now? Yeah. Exactly. It's just 1,000 yeah. naira. Yeah. How much? 5,000 naira. Come and, on. And these are people who, before they took that money from you, hmm. they were like, I beg, help me. Hmm. But the moment you start asking for your money, they don't take your calls. Yeah. <laughs> even when they see you, they judge you. <laughs> oh, I saw a, a video where the, guy, the lady started standing like a mannequin. I think it was a flash for that. She stood in the store, she just stood like a mannequin, like, and then the person passed by. But it's just crazy the way people turn when it comes to mm -hmm. money. They say you know a person's real character when money is involved. Mm -hmm. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, people flip the script on yeah. you when it comes to so money. So just give mm -hmm. something that you know you're not going to yeah. probably Pass get it. back yeah. anyways. Mm -hmm. I don't even let people... I don't even let people borrow money. I just give it to you if I have extra. And if I don't, I'm you not going to give it to you. So it won't yeah. be any kind of issues Same, yeah. in the future. Because yeah, I don't mm. even like drama. I exactly. Hate drama. I hate drama. Mm -hmm. And things oh, like that drama. usually bring drama. Yeah. So I just, I'd what about this your guy? I'd rather give you. What about who? It's your boyfriend or your man. To borrow him money. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know that you're yeah, giving yourself the money. It's you, now. That one is inside the house the now. I borrow you 20k, I take 200k uh -uh. back. Hey, so, I love I'll, that. I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be more than willing like to borrow. It. Why not? Because I know I know how I can get it back. And I know it's not going to cost any fight. Guys, on that note, we have to go. Oh, I really love that conversation. We have to go. We yeah. have to go. We have to go. So we have to go. It was so much fun hanging out with you ladies as usual. Fun as usual. As usual. As usual. As usual. Good as usual. luck on your 20 year anniversary. Thank you very much. I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'll let you know how it goes. And you can. Uh, well, <laughs> if we're allowed to bring friends out, I, I might just bring yeah. you girls. Because they would love to meet you girls, the girls from yeah. Girls yeah. and Cats. Yeah. <laughs> you can follow the conversation on Twitter and Instagram at girlsuncut underscore. Let us know what you think. Let us know how you guys have had to deal with high school reunions. And if you have a high school reunion coming up, let us know how you are going to deal with it when it comes up. Thank you so much for watching. Join us next time next week for another episode of Girls on Cut. Ow. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> you guys are still my flag. Hey. <laughs>